Well, hi there, Novi Elementary Artists. Welcome to a Fun Friday lesson. Take a look at this picture here. What do you see? We're going to draw action stick figures together today. I'm Miss Samuels, and I'll be teaching you. I'm here on behalf of all of your favorite Novi Art teachers. So, please grab something to draw with and a piece of paper. And we are going to draw small today. I actually zoomed in here, so these look bigger than they really are. Okay, do you have something to draw with? Let's begin. We're going to draw different action stick figures all over the paper. So, can you say action stick figure? Go ahead, try it. Repeat after me. Action stick figure. I'm listening. Okay. So, let's begin. I'm going to draw a face here. This figure is flying in the sky. It looks like a superhero. So let's make our face going in a horizontal or side to side direction. Then I'm gonna draw a body. Here's a neck with a body. You could call this a torso or the core, or the trunk of the body. And I'm gonna make nice long legs. I'm making feet, and I'm gonna make nice long arms. My arms are bent. I'm gonna make a cape. What could I put on the cape? I think I'll put an S for Miss Samuels. Go ahead and make sky. Make some clouds. Make a sun. It could even be raining. Okay. What should we do next? How about some action lines? Action lines, little lines, can be drawn right where an action just occurred. The arms could be moving, the legs, legs could be moving. How do you like my clouds? I, want, I wonder what kind of weather you'll have in your picture. Is it a rainy day? Here's a cloud behind another cloud. So I put my drawing utensil, my marker, right on top and I drew half a cloud and I'm coming back to it. So this one is overlapping this one. Let's draw another action stick figure. What's this one doing? I tried to make a person doing sit-ups. So here we go again. I'm making an oval, and again, it's side to side. It's horizontal, not vertical, which is up and down. I'm making a rectangle that's horizontal as well for the body. You could put a line, or you could make just a simple shape for the body. You choose, use your imagination. I've got nice long legs. Here are the calves, here are the thighs and the feet. I even put a line for the ground. My cat's making noise, everybody. She wants my attention. Hold on, keep drawing your person. Do you wanna make some ground? Where is your stick figure going to be working out? So, 
I'm almost done. I need another arm. I need a couple hands. Don't forget your feet. How about some action lines? I like my bent arms and my bent legs. Remember, we have long arms and long legs. You can put in any kind of background you want or not. It's time to make a jumper. This figure, this could be a child. How about that? This could be you jumping high. Now, I'll begin with an oval for the face, and I made it vertical or up and down. Do you want hair or any other details on your face? How about that? You could color it in and make it imaginary. You could put designs on top. Make a body or torso or core that's the center part of the human form. Make long arms. My arms will be bent again. And my legs look like triangles because my little figure is jumping really high and moving. So I've got action lines and bent legs. Don't forget your feet. You could even put a jump rope in it. That sounds interesting. I just thought of that. Here's a jump rope. Okay. Add in any details you want to finish, and I'm moving on. Take a look. What is this one doing? It's actually dabbing. Do you like that? My students like to dab at school. So I'm going to make an oval up and down, vertical, and again, nice long legs that are bent. I've got long arms the forearm, the upper arm, and make sure you bend your arm here like a V or part of a triangle if you're dabbing. Here are some action lines. Don't forget hands and feet. Should we put on silly hair? We could add in a disco ball. That could be fun. You could put some little details in the background just because. Why not? Should we put music notes in? Do you like music? I like music. Okay. I've got a line for the ground. That's the horizon line where the sky meets the ground. So my figure is not just floating in the air. Now, I'm about ready to move on to another one. Here I go. This idea came from one of my students named Vibavi. We did this sort of thing, this stick figure, action stick figure drawing at school this year. And I looked at some of the sketches, and a student named Vibavi made one where it's flying a kite. Do you like that? Let's try it. So, make an oval, an up and down vertical oval. You can make a simple shape for the body or just a line for the body is fine. Here's a hand and you can make a kite with a diamond shape that's a geometric shape. The arms are long, the hands come down all the way to the thighs. So my arms are in two different positions today for my person flying a kite. One arm is up and one arm is down and we have long arms. Our hands reach all the way down to our thighs. So that's a realistic idea. I used my imagination on the ground and just drew some squiggles. I like squiggles. I like rounded lines. 
You could do something different for a background if you want. Hey, you could even put polka dots. I like polka dots. Polka dots look good just about anywhere, I think. How about that? Oh, you know what? It kind of looks like it's snowing. Maybe it's raining hail. How about that? You probably wouldn't be flying a kite in the middle of winter. Take a look at this. I got this idea from a student named Lamarck. He did a sketch of somebody playing basketball. So, let's do that. Draw a head, maybe a circle or an oval shape. I'm drawing a rectangle for a body. My arms are going in the same direction on one side towards the basketball. So there's overlapping here. That's a little tricky. I wonder if you could do that. I made a basketball, and I'm going to make some action lines near the basketball. Please pause the video if I'm going too fast. I've got long legs, and the foot is kind of kicking back like it's running, it's moving. We're playing basketball. We're doing a sport. I bet you can't wait to get back to the basketball courts and play with your friends. We could draw in the meantime, try to get that position down. You could even make a game at home for Fun Friday in Art. And you could strike a pose. And you could have somebody in your family draw you in that position. What's happening here? Another action figure. I've got my head. I've got a body. I'm making bent legs. There's the horizon line where the sky meets the ground. This one is lifting a weight. It's a big weight. Oh boy, it's heavy. Take a look. It actually goes up over its head. It's called a barbell. Can you draw a barbell? There's a straight line, a horizontal line above the head. And, should we make some action lines? I put some music notes over there. You might make a boom box in the background. So there's music playing. That might make your workout more pleasant. Do you want to put on some headphones? Why not? These are headphones, believe it or not. Okay, I'm about to move along. I want to show you more. I don't want to take too long to make my video. So maybe you could do some of these on your own. This one is serving cake. I put in a table and I put in plates. And there's a candle at the top. The arms are going to one side of the figure holding the plate with cake. I even put a chef's hat on top of my figure. What's coming next? Here's a child just standing with a bent arm and their hand is on their hip. This child is wearing glasses and holding balloons. It's also wearing a hat, a baseball hat that was made with a half circle. You could pause this and draw on your own if you want to do one of these. I want to show you more. This one is by Davi. The idea is by Davi. He made a football player. Look at that football. And I really like the football helmet. So I made a football helmet kind of like he did when he was sketching. And this figure is sort of lunging forward. Your body line would be on an angle. There's another one serving cake. Ooh, what's coming next? It's a ninja. This one's kicking up high. It even has a mask or a bandana around its face. How silly. One leg is up straight and long. The other's down on the ground. 
here's one that's doing a, a handstand with one arm. Could you do that? Pause the video and draw one of those. And last but not least, I want to show you one with a dancer. And I got this idea from an artist at Orchard Hills named Jasmine. So there's a disco ball at the top. There's music notes in it. And the arms and legs are bent. I hope you learned about stick figure drawing today and that you'll do some more on your own. It's been nice teaching you today. Let's go create. Have a good week, 